If you're interested in checking out the Cadence WP theme, what I talk about in this video, be sure to click the first link in the description and that will point you right there to their uh, premium add-on as well as the free download for their theme. So check it out. Let's dive into it. Many Lifter LMS users have been turned onto a theme called Cadence WP that's been designing some specific features for Lifter LMS, such as customizing the dashboard, customizing the course catalog page, and some specific Lifter LMS features that most themes don't have. In this video, I'm going to dive into the uh, premium version of the theme that they released recently. And I believe it was actually um, in the last few days here, they released a premium version that adds some additional features uh, to the core theme and they're gonna be continuing to add to it. But we're gonna cover some of the key features I've seen in this release that are gonna be really useful for Lifter LMS users. My name is Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Let's dive into it. All right, so the free Cadence WP theme, I'm currently using it on my uh, template website here. It's a lightweight theme that has um, some nice features. Um, and in the free core theme, there are some Lifter LMS features for customizing the catalog and dashboard. So you don't need the paid version for some of those basic features. You can find those in the customizer. If I go here at the top and click customize, and then check out some Lifter LMS features, you can customize your dashboard page. Uh, if I head over to the dashboard page now, click on that here. I have some options for what I want my my dashboard here to look like and they have all sorts of layout options for your course catalog and everything like that. But in the premium theme that they released in the last few days here, uh, these are the core add-ons, the core um, elements they have included in their paid theme right now. And of course they're going to add some more Lifter LMS paid features um, in the future, but at the moment I wanted to highlight a few key ones for Lifter users. So of course, um, in the Cadence WP theme here, I'm gonna do a little bit of flipping back and forth between these features and actually on my website here. So if I hop out to header, um, I have these available items in the free Cadence theme I'm on right now. Let me actually hop over to my account quick and download the Cadence Pro add-on right here. This is a plugin you add to your site to enhance the free theme. So let me go to my plugins area and pop this back up on my website real quick. I headed to plugins, add new, upload plugin. I'm just gonna add this uh, right to my site, install now. And we'll give it a second to install there. And then we'll take a look at some of the uh, premium features. All right, there it goes. Uh, just finished installing. I'm gonna click activate plugin. And this is going to, there we go. Now it's activated. So if I head to appearance, cadence right here under appearance cadence I have a few options I can turn on so currently I'm working with um, these core navigation items I can add to my header if I wanted to have a search or something like that I can easily drag and drop it up to my header and you'll see I have a search bar there but if I hop over back to the cadence settings here I'm going to turn on this header add-ons from the cadence pro and then reload my customizer here and I'll have a lot more options under header and there we go, we have a lot more available items to work with if you wanted to put links over to your social and whatnot. There's all sorts of cool features to look at there. So then I'm gonna hop onto Hooked Elements and Ultimate Menu last because I think those are some of the uh, highest impact features for most Lifter LMS users. But uh, some other features they have included in the Pro plugin are fixed elements. So if you wanted a banner to stick to the bottom of your page, you could use uh, this for that as well as a few other options. If you are into adding uh, some custom code to your website, uh, the Cadence Pro makes that a little bit easier. And if you're using WooCommerce, there are some specific features for you here. Uh, you can see down here in the corner some um, neat cart features and shop features that are available at the moment. Um, but to highlight some of these features here, the hooked elements is a really neat feature. Uh, let me show you what that one does. So for that one, I'm gonna hop actually out of the customizer and this allows you to pretty much create content inside of short codes that you can embed anywhere you want on your website. So if I go to the back end of my WordPress website, let's turn that feature on under Appearance Cadence. And then I want to enable hooked elements. Go ahead and toggle that one on. And now if I just reload the page here, it'll be under Cadence right here, Cadence Elements. Just have to reload because I just turned it on in there. All right, so Cadence Elements, if I click on that, I don't have any created yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Add New and I have a few templates I could uh, choose from, but I'm just gonna go default for now. If you wanna explore these settings a little bit more, you can, but one key feature here is if you wanted to create some, maybe um, 
master course, child course style content or one piece of content that you want to display in multiple places on your website, you can do that here. So if I was running maybe a health course that uh, encouraged diets, for example, I could have maybe the vegan diet example here. And then what I'm going to do is build out my vegan diet meal plan, I guess is what I'm doing here. So if I go to list and then I'll say grapes, apples, bananas, that's going to be on my diet. And of course you could build out this however you wanted to, and it doesn't have to be for a diet, just kind of any element you want to display in multiple locations, but only edit in one place. So uh, I'm good with my diet plan here. And for my health diet course, I would have, um, you know, all of my diets made out as elements, and then I can use the short code to place them on my website. So let me show you that here. Um, for displaying my uh, vegan diet here, I want to uh, go to the element settings up here in the corner. And if you don't see this, if it's a different looking sidebar for you, you want to make sure you're selected on element settings, this little icon here in the middle. And for placement, I am going to actually leave that one blank. This is an interesting feature. If you wanted to say before site wrapper, and then I'll go to display settings. I want to display before the site wrapper on all of my pages, my entire website. Let me go ahead and publish that real quick and show you what you can do with this. So if I reload my home page, let me actually um, purge the cache here. There we go. So now my vegan diet's displaying on all on my entire website above my uh, header here. So I wouldn't want to display this up here, but if I had like a, a discount code or like some sort of an announcement, like a banner I wanted at the top, this is a great way to do that as well. You don't just have to use it for like content you want to display in multiple locations. But uh, back to what I was doing. I want to uh, not use placement settings. I do want to show on my entire website because I want to be able to put the short code wherever I want in lessons in my course. And then for user settings, uh, make sure that's set to all users and you should be good to go. Of course, there are some more settings you could dive into if you only wanted this to show on mobile or uh, if you wanted it to expire on a certain date, um, your, if you had like a banner or something like that with a discount code for a specific month, you could use this setting for that. But for now, I just want to have a short code I can place anywhere I want to. So now that I have uh, my short code published or my element published, I need to go get the short code that I'm going to place onto my uh, Lifter LMS lessons. So here's the short code. If you go to Cadence Elements, you can see the short code for all of your elements you've created. I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard and go ahead to Courses, and then just go into one of my example courses here. And I'm going to edit a few of my lessons, and I'm going to drop this short code in a few different lessons here. And so if I want my diet, we'll put it right here. I'm just going to add a short code block right here in my lessons. Of course, if you're using a page builder, each page builder has a different way to embed a short code. So let me just throw my short code in a few of my lessons here. And update. So now let's take a look at my lesson here. All right, so there we go. So I have my diet plan showing up here on my first lesson and then let me pull up the second lesson here. So out of the editor and there it is my diet plan. So now my diet plan is displaying on both of my lessons. Um, but if I wanted to change my diet plan, I have a lot of tabs open here. Let me go back and uh, go edit my element. So if I go to appearance cadence elements, I can go change my vegan diet and it's going to automatically change on uh, both of the my lessons. So if I had grapes, bananas, plaid pears to the list, update, and then go reload my introduction. It automatically has pears on it. And then over here, it's going to populate the same thing. So now you have pears populating anywhere you have that short code. So now anywhere the short code is, it's going to display whatever I add here in my element. So this is a really neat concept for doing some things like master courses, child courses, where uh, you know, all of your courses can be pulling content from one place so you can kind of update that content whenever you want it to. That's just kind of a neat idea to play around with and a super awesome feature of the Cadence Pro theme. And of course, there are some other settings you could dive into as well. I just thought that one was one that was really cool to highlight. 
So also for the ultimate menus, uh, this is gonna allow you to make some really neat menu features. So let me go back to my homepage. I've seen this uh, question a few times, like can I do a mega menu inside WordPress? Now it's pretty easy uh, to do that with just Cadence Pro and the default WordPress. So what I can do is head out to my appearance menus area, or actually first let me stop by the appearance cadence settings. I uh, gotta always remember you gotta turn the add-ons on. So when you have the premium add-ons, you wanna go make sure ultimate menus are turned on so I can use them. Now I can head to appearance menus and I'll have some additional features. So maybe for my student dashboard. So the student dashboard has a lot of endpoints here, like all these grades and courses and all that kind of stuff. Let me just um, put these actually on my menu here, just throw on a bunch of menu items uh, so that I can show you kind of what a mega menu would look like. Typically in WordPress, you have the uh, menu and submenu items. So I could have a structure like this. Let me save that and then reload my page to show you what I'm talking about. So on the dashboard, I have this drop down where I could go quickly to my achievements or if I wanted to take a shortcut somewhere, I could do that with my menu here. But if you wanted to make your menu a little bit dynamic, you could with the Cadence uh, Mega Menu feature or the um, multi-column feature, you can say menu settings on your dashboard, your item that has all those sub items. And of course there's some all sorts of settings you can change on your menu, but I'm just gonna be looking at the Mega Menu dropdown. So I'm going to say, just turn it on for now and then we'll dive into the settings real quick. So if I reload my page, now that I have the men mega menu on, you can see I have a different looking menu here. And if I pop over to the settings, maybe I want a two column layout and I only want it to be the width of my menu container here. So I've done that. I have uh, changed a few settings that I want here. Let me save and then see what that looks like. All right, dashboard. So now I have a little bit different of a layout. And if I wanted to uh, change the style, the columns, uh, maybe a 66%, 33% style, I could do that. If I wanted to change my drop down background, I could uh, change that as well, along with my links and background colors. And I could change the divider color. You can really customize a lot here. Um, but let me just show you that it's it's super simple to work with and that might be a little bit um right here this one might be a little bit of a bad color choice but you can really select any color you want to here and uh, really customize your menus to make them look good for what you're looking for on your site with just WordPress and Cadence Pro here and then of course there's a lot more settings you can dive into uh, for your mega menus so that was a few features I thought I'd want to highlight out of the Cadence Pro theme uh, now that that's released. The first link in the description below this video will point you to this page right here where you can check out all their Pro features along with a link to the free download if you wanted to uh, try out the Cadence theme on your website. And they do have a, currently a deal going on for lifetime pricing. Um, I think that deal is going to go away in like seven or eight days. Um, and they, I think the pricing is just going to go up here to this, um, this higher number. Uh, but what we talked about in this video was this Cadence Pro theme right here. And then Cadence doesn't just have the theme. They have all sorts of other add-ons as well. They're pretty involved in the community. They have Cadence blocks and then all sorts of other add-ons I can dive into. If uh, you're interested in seeing tutorials on that, be sure to leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments below. Uh, but they do have this, uh, lifetime membership going on at the moment for this, um, whole suite of products as well as just the theme itself if you're interested in that. So uh, be sure to check it out. The first link in the description below this video. This has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.